Hello everyone, I am Rohit and in this video I am going to talk about that LinkedIn API integration. With the help of LinkedIn API, how we can post message to our profile, that thing we are going to discuss. Also we will discuss that how we can post a message and the image in our profile. All these steps we are going to do, discuss in our today's session. The first thing is that you should go to this LinkedIn.com and then you should have a profile, active profile and you should have minimum uh, few connection to build this API. So once you get this some connections, the first step is that you should have this LinkedIn account. Now uh, you should create a company page on the LinkedIn. So this page is required when uh, you are going to create an application. So to create a page, what do you have to do? Uh, you can see that I have logged in my profile. You have an option called for business. You have to click here and here you have an option called create a company page. Once you click that, you can see that it has three options. So we are clicking that company options and then here we need to provide the name. So let's say that I am putting the Rohit 1, 2 and then uh, you can select that industry. So I will select that IT and here I will select the organization type 0 to 1 and then I will uh, verify and then click create page. Before that I should select that uh, organization type and then click create page. So what will be happen? It will be create a simple page called Rohit12. So this page is the company page similar like a Facebook page. So we created the Facebook page for our business purposes. Similarly, here we need to create a company page. So that should be your second step. The first step you should have LinkedIn account. Second step is to create a company page. Third steps to visit call developers.linkedin.com. So this website you need to be visit there. Once you visit that, you will be able to see that my apps options and if you click that my apps options you will be able to see all these application that you have created so far so what we are going to do that we are going to create a new app so we'll click the create apps once you click the create apps you can see the linkedin page is mandatory so here we need to provide the page name so we'll put that rohit12 so this is our page name rohit12 and then here we need to provide that called demo new app so this is the app name we provided now we have to be upload the app logo and that is a mandatory i'll just upload the app logo i have selected my company uh, logo and then i will click that i have rate agreement and then terms and then click the create apps so your application is created and once you created that you will be landed to a product tab under this product tab we have to be add couple of products so product means that what we are trying to do with this linkedin profile or linkedin application the purpose of this product is that to share some uh, you know topics or some message or you can say some content to our linkedin profile right so we should add this call this product called share on linkedin so if you see that the step number five we should select the share on linkedin this um, this product and then we should select the sign in linkedin using open id connect so these two product we need to be add there so let's go there here I'll click this share on LinkedIn. I will say that I have read the agreement and then click the request thing. So this product is added right now. You can see this product is added. And then if I scroll down, there is another product called sign in LinkedIn using OpenID Connect. We'll click that and then we'll add that. So these two products we have to be add there. So now you can see under this product tab, we have two products right now. And now what is the next steps so you have to go to these settings tabs and then you have to verify your linkedin page so let's go to these settings tabs and then you have a see you added this uh, uh linkedin pages now you need to verify that to verify that you need to click this verify and then you need to create generate url and you need to copy this uh you know url and then once you paste that your uh, option is coming like this app is going to be connect with this page so we'll click that verify and then your verification is done go back to your previous page we'll click that i am done and then simply refresh that you will be see that the page is verified so you can see the page is verified now next step 
is that you need to go to that auth tab and under this auth tab you need to click that auth 2.0 tools and then generate uh, a new access token so let's go back to this uh, auth um, here and then here you can see client id and client secret with the help of client id and client secret you can basically um, generate that access token um, um, but what we are going to do that uh, LinkedIn is already uh, given that one tools called OAuth 2.0 tools using that also you can generate the token so we we'll click there and then here you have options called create token once you click that create token you will be able to see a pop-up and then you will click there and then here you need to define that what all scope um, is um, applied so we'll click that all these options here one by one and then I'll click that I understand and then click request token once you click that a pop-up you can see open and I need to provide the username and password so once I put the, my username and password you can see there is a pop-up showing that what all permission I am giving like if you go to the Facebook there are a lot of apps showing like there when you log in or you try to access that app uh, they need that permission similarly here you need to give the permission like this application have a access to your name photo your uh, primary email address and all this you can just allow that once you click allow it will generate a access token and that to we within I mean with the help of that token you can actually uh, you know post push all these stuffs you can do so we'll simply copy this access token now I open the postman tools so this is the postman tool standard tools used for all type of integration uh, to test to do actual integration so this is my postman tools here you can see that we have options called uh, environment you click that you can create some variables so we will click that call uh, global and here I'm going to create a variable called token and then here I should paste that access token I have received so that this variable I can use over the uh, period so I'll paste that token here and come back to this uh, uh, this tabs called this uh, page now how do we uh, add this token so we got access token how we can use this access token to use this access token you should go to this authorization sections and then under this authorization section you should select that authorized type is OAuth 2.0 and here and then this token is going to be used that so or this is the access token that you saved under this variable called token that will be used that so simply save that and now I am going to use this one of the endpoint called API dot uh, LinkedIn dot com slash v2 slash user information so if you call this API you will get user related information so we'll click the send and here you can see that I got some user related informations like email is verified name is Rohit Kumar location given name email address all these things we are able to get that so with the help of that we are able to connect to a API so you might be thinking that how I am getting this URL right so uh, which endpoint I should uh, post that or which endpoint I should hit that so this is a standard protocol uh, I can put this URL to my uh, blog or else you can go to this uh, you know uh, developers here under this you can see under this products you have a options call um, share on the LinkedIn and then signing LinkedIn using open connect you can click there and it will open a documentation which will tell you that which endpoint you should hit there so and then uh, you can see that the endpoint name call um, https slash slash api dot linkedin dot com slash v2 slash user information and then here under this authorization you should pass the barrier and I should pass the access token once you pass this information uh, you will be able to get that subject identifier name member of the name so this information you will get that the same thing I am getting that so in this API using this API you should be able to get your own information now next step we should post or we should send some message to our LinkedIn profile for that what do you have to do 
we have to open this called share on linkedin this documentation once you open this you will be able to see this documentation so this is the end point to post some message so we'll copy this end point and you can see the method is post method so we'll go and open a new tab here and under this new tab we'll change this to method equal to post and you can see that under this url when you copy that it's automatically copy post to so we'll remove that post and then it will be it should be started with college https like this one then we need to define the authorization so you can see that documentation is saying that uh, there should be somewhere it's showing that um, so this is the sample body and then we should select first authorization to set the authorization we'll go to this authorization section we'll go and then select what 2.0 here we'll select that available token and then here now using this token variable we'll do a integration now as it is post method we should pass some body so we'll select the raw we'll select the json and go and then copy this uh, request body so this is the body to create a text share so if you want to text something or if you want to share something in a text format you should copy and paste this one okay now here is the thing if we try to send that let's see what happens if we try to send that we'll get an error that this person does not match with that person to this organization or this company so what do you have to do under this author here we need to change to your information or your particular user information how will get the user your particular information the previous call when you did that you get this you your this information called under this sub you will copy this information and the paste here okay and now if you try to send that what will be happen this message is going to be post into the linkedin before that i just want to show you that under this activity my activity everything is blank for so far there is nothing major is showing my activity what we'll do we'll go and then hit send you can see that i have received one id here and it means that and also i got a 201 it means that it's created it means that if i refresh the activity i should be able to see the post so let's see so you can see the first message that uh, uh, is post now so this way you can post your message to your linkedin